again, my name is Gabe Zola. This is the 24th of January, 2019. I posted a number of videos today. One of them talked about the Hippocratic Oath that all doctors are sworn to abide by. And in that video, I talked about the new law that Governor Andrew Cuomo signed into law in New York which allows a healthcare professional to abort a child right up to the time that the woman's about to deliver. The loophole that they built into that is that if there's danger that the mother might not survive. So that'll be their escape clause. Now here's the problem. I went ahead and I did a little search and I've got an article on Wikipedia, and the title is Murder of Lacey Peterson. Lacey Denise Peterson wrote on May the 4th, 1975 to December 24th, 2002, was an American woman who was the subject of a highly publicized murder case after she disappeared with eight months pregnant with her first child. She was reported last seen alive on December 24, 2002. Her husband, Scott Peterson, was later convicted of murder in the first degree for her death and in the second degree for the death of their prenatal son, Connor. Peterson is currently on death row at San Quentin State Prison. Now the operative word here is he was convicted of second-degree murder for the death of their prenatal son. So what that says is the California law recognized Connor as being just more than fetal tissue. Otherwise, Scott Peterson couldn't have been convicted of second-degree for his death. Now. There are other instances where similar events took place. I recall doing a video where someone had shot a woman and the baby in her womb died and he was charged with both of those murders. And I got to believe that it's happened throughout the country more than we'd like to even consider. Now what happens to those men that are spending the rest of their lives in prison for having done exactly the same thing as Scott Peterson did? Yet Andrew Cuomo says, hey, they're not a human being. If a doctor aborts that baby before it's born, it's not a human being. Can you see how the Democrats go ahead and make laws without thinking them through, without thinking of the ramifications of their moronic, idiotic actions. If I'm not mistaken, Kumo's Catholic. So you have to ask yourself a question. What kind of Catholic is he? Folks, this law that they've signed is inhuman, it's barbaric, and it needs to be gotten rid of. Problem is, New York's a whacked out democratic state. And don't be too surprised if California enacts the exact same law. And if they do that, Massachusetts and a few of the other left-wing states I suspect will follow as well. Babies will be aborted at a phenomenal rate. I'm wondering if in fact there's a financial benefit, if there's a market for fully developed fetuses. Well, they're more than a fetus if they're fully developed, aren't they? Usually you follow the money. Hate to say it, but tell me where I'm wrong.
you can't, can't you? Read the article on Wikipedia. Let me know what you think. Please repost this in all your social media accounts. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.